for this week's Weather Wednesday, and we're talking snow to liquid ratios with Tavian Whitehurst. You've heard us talk a lot about the recent snow being dry, but what does that mean? Exactly what it sounds like. There's not a lot of free water available in the snowflakes. We measure snow wetness as a ratio that tells us how many inches of snow equates to one inch of water after melting. It can range from a low of five to one to a high of 25 to one. Wetter snows have smaller ratios. They're more dense, thicker, heavier because of that water, and that makes it great for snowballs and snowmen, but more dangerous for the roads as it gets slick and slushy. Drier snows have larger ratios. They're fluffy, they're lighter and easier to move through. So this snow is better for sledding, maybe instead of a snowball. Still possible though, and that less water makes roads easier to navigate. So if you look here, I have some of the snow fresh from our weather porch and you can see the difference. I've got a full cup of snow here where you can see that it's all the way to the brim. But once that snow melted, you see we have so much less, less than half of this uh, glass is filled with that water. Now the variance comes from the temperatures in the vertical profile with wet snow temperatures aloft are near or just above freezing. Dry snow stays below freezing as it falls to the ground for much longer. So a lot of our snow was on the drier end somewhere around a 1 to 10 to 1 to 14 range. Either way, you still need to exercise extreme caution as this polar air comes in and freezes things over. So to continue to avoid the icy roads if you can.